All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, we are going to recap every single game from Week 11. Um, and I'll give you my thoughts on each game. Uh, obviously, going through every game, I don't want to spend too much time on each of them because, you know, we don't have much time to, you know, talk about every single game. But we are going to uh, we're gonna do it anyways. So... Let's get right into it. So we'll start off with the uh, the Steelers and the Browns. So um, Dorian Thompson Robinson making his second career start for the Browns in this game. Very low scoring game. Uh, the final of this game ended up being thirteen to ten. Dustin Hopkins kicking a game winning field goal. Uh, Browns improving to seven and three. Steelers dropping to six and four on the season. Kenny Pickett did not have a good game. 15 to 28, no touchdowns, no interceptions, 106 passing yards. The Browns looked like they sacked him for a safety, but for some reason it wasn't ruled a safety. Um, it was clearly was a safety, but for some reason the refs just didn't call it. Um, Jalen Warren, nine carries for 129 yards and a touchdown. He had that big 74 yard touchdown um, that got the Steelers on the board to make it 10 to seven, but Steelers offense just couldn't get anything going. George Pickens was their leading receiver with 38 yards. Um, yeah, rough game for them. Uh, Dorian Thompson Robinson went 24-43, 165 yards, no touchdowns, and an interception. Um, the Browns ran the ball for 96 yards. Kareem Hunt was their leading rusher, 36 yards on the ground. Elijah Moore had 60 yards receiving in this game. Um, but yeah, not really much to say about this game. But yeah, Browns approved 7-3. Steelers dropped to 6-4 and four, uh, as their offense continues to struggle. Um, then we move on to the Chargers and the Packers. Um, the Packers coming out on top, 23 to 20, um, improving to four and six. Chargers dropping to four and six. Uh, Jordan Love had his best game of the season, 27 to 40, 322 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, obviously, Aaron Jones got hurt in this game. Uh, Jaden Reed, their wide receiver, ended up being their leading rusher, three carries for 46 yards and a touchdown. He had that, um, I think it was a 32-yard touchdown run uh, to get the Packers started. Uh, uh, Wicks was their leading receiver, three receptions for 91 yards. Uh, Romeo Dobbs had the go-ahead touchdown. Uh, he had five receptions for 53 yards. Um, Christian Watson had a touchdown in this game. And listen, the Chargers, um, you know, they had uh, they had their chances. Um, you know, they uh, were going down the field to tie the game. Uh, Quinn Johnson had a couple of drops in this game. One of them was the massive drop at the end. Um, he's had a rough rookie season. Uh, Justin Herbert went 21-36, 260 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. He was their leading rusher. He had 73 yards rushing. Um, Keenan Allen was their leading receiver, no surprise there. Ten receptions, 116 yards, and a touchdown. He did have a couple of drops as well. Um, and obviously, I'm pretty sure everybody has seen, you know, Joe Staley. Or Joe Staley. Brandon Staley. I keep doing that. Um, his press conference, you know, his little rant about, uh, you know, him calling the defense and, you know, telling the reporter to not ask that question you know, about, um, you know, the defense. Uh, but the defense has been bad this year for the Chargers. And you lost to the Packers. Jordan Love had his best day as a pro. Um, yeah, Chargers defense is bad. And, again, you would think, like, with Joey Bosa and, and Khalil Mack and Derwin James and all these guys that this defense would be better, but it hasn't. It's been one of the worst. Um, so we move on. Giants and Commanders. The Giants continue to own the Commanders no matter what. Uh, they win 31 to 19. Tommy DeVito went 18 to 26, 246 yards passing, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Saquon Barkley had 83 yards on the ground. Uh, Darius Slayton, who got hurt in this game, he was their leading receiver, had 82 yards and a touchdown. Saquon Barkley had 57 yards and two touchdowns in this game. Um, Giants forced turnovers in this game. Sam Howell had three interceptions on the day. He had 255 yards passing, one touchdown. Uh, Brian Robinson was their leading rusher, 73 yards on the ground, and he was also their leading receiver with 58 yards. Um, but yeah, Giants, uh, they won another game. They did. I didn't think it was possible, but they did because they continue to own Washington. Um, that kind of hurts them when it comes to drafting a top quarterback in the uh, in this upcoming draft. But, um, you know, 3-8, uh, and eight, they, find, they won a game. They put up 30 points in this game. They, they got a pick six at the end. Uh, Isaiah Simmons uh, picked off Howell. Um, but yeah, uh, Giants improved to 3-8. and eight. Washington drops to 4-7. and seven. 
then we move on to the Cowboys and the Panthers. Cowboys all over the Panthers, 33-10. to uh, Dak Prescott threw two touchdowns in this game. Tony Pollard had a touchdown in this game. C.D. Lamb had a touchdown in this game. This game was actually close at one point. It was 17-10. to And then all of a sudden, Cowboys scored a touchdown. Bryce Young threw another pick six. Uh, he had 123 yards passing, 16-29. to He was not good once again. Um, and the Cowboys won 33 to 10 over the Panthers. Cowboys improved to seven and three. Panthers dropped to one and nine. Uh, and the Bears look like they are uh, going to get the number one overall pick. So we'll see what they do there. Uh, Cowboys play on Thanksgiving against the Commanders. Speaking of the Bears, they fell to the Lions 31 to 26. They had the lead for the for a large portion of this game. They forced Jared Goff into three interceptions. Um, Justin Fields, his first game back, he didn't look that bad. Had 104 yards on the ground. Um, he connected with DJ Moore for a big touchdown um, at one point during the game. I think that was on like a second and 20. Um, so that was good. Uh, but the Bears, for 39 yards, but yeah, the Bears, um, you know, they uh, they couldn't finish the job and they ended up losing. Uh, they were up 26-14 to 14 at one point in this game, but the Lions, uh, they outscored them 17-6 to 6 in the fourth quarter. And they got the win. And they play on Thanksgiving against the Packers. Um... I have no idea who to pick in any of these games on Thanksgiving. Well, I'm leaning towards the Niners, but that's about it. I, I don't know what to do with the other two. Um, but yeah, Lions improved to 8-2 and two on the season. Bears dropped to 3-8. and eight. Uh, Then we got the Texans and the Cardinals. The Texans winning 21-16 to 16 over the Cardinals. Um, C.J. Stroud had three picks in this game, but it didn't matter. Uh, they still got the win. Um, the Cardinals had their opportunities, uh, but they could not cash in. Um, Kyler Murray went 20 of 30 for 214 yards, a touchdown and a pick. James Conner had 62 yards rushing. Kyler had 51 yards rushing and a touchdown. Uh, their leading receiver was Gre Greg Deutsch. He had six for six receptions for 76 yards. Rondell Moore had one reception for 48 yards, and that was for a touchdown. Um, CJ Stroud, 336 yards passing, two touchdowns, three interceptions. Devin Singletary, another solid game, 22 carries for 112 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Tank Dell had eight receptions for 149 yards and a touchdown, so he looks like, you know, the top target for C.J. Stroud right now. Texans continue to roll, 6-4, and four, and that sets up their matchup with the Jaguars, who won 34-14 to 14 over the Titans. Uh, this really wasn't much of a game. Um, the, the Jags dominated from start to finish. Um, you know, the Titans' best play was that uh, flea flicker that they did to DeAndre Hopkins um, for 43 yards, but... Other than that, Jags dominated. Uh, Trevor Lawrence had two rushing touchdowns, two passing touchdowns in this game. Calvin Ridley actually had a good game. He had two touchdowns in this game, uh, seven receptions for 103 yards. So that's a good sign, especially for fantasy owners like myself of Calvin Ridley. Uh, but Jacksonville improves to 7-3, and three, and they will be playing the Texans in Houston next week. So we'll see what happens there. Um, then we move on. Dolphins and the Raiders. Do Raven, uh, Raiders actually kept it close. Uh, the final score ended up being 20-13. to 13. Uh, Aiden O'Connell had three picks on the day. Um, he had 271 yards passing and a touchdown. They only ran the ball for 36 yards. Um, Devontae Adams had a long touchdown for 46 yards, so that was good. Um, they did keep it close. Tua had a pick in this game. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the Dolphins are a better team. Uh, they, they were able to get the win. But I, I thought the Dolphins would dominate this game, but... That was not the case. Give the Raiders credit. They kept it close. Uh, so, you know, Antonio Pierce has got that team playing well. So, I think, you know, depending on what they fin the record they finish with, I mean, maybe you play it safe and say, you know, this is your job. But who knows? Uh, Tyreek Hill uh, also, had, of course, had his typical, uh, you know, game, 10 receptions, 146 yards, and a touchdown. He actually left the game at one point, but they, uh, he injured his hand. Um He's got to stop scaring me because, you know, I have him in a couple of leagues, you know, and he's my best player. Uh, he, keep, he keeps getting hurt. Um, but, he, you know, he, he comes back in the game, but, uh, you know, I need him. Um, so, uh, yeah, now let's go to the, uh, oh, the, late, uh, the late window games here. So the Niners, they beat the, uh, the Bucks 27-14. to 14. Uh, The Bucks did hang around in this game, but the Niners were the better team here. Uh, the defense forced a couple of turnovers. Uh, Baker Mayfield fumbled. He threw a pick in this game. Um, the Bucks did have their chances, uh, but they, uh, like I said, they couldn't cash in. 
Brock Purdy, another good game. Uh, 21 to 25, 333 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. Christian McCaffrey, 78 yards on the ground. Uh, Ayuk had a touchdown. Kittle had a touchdown. McCaffrey had a receiving touchdown. Uh, Debo Samuel had three receptions for 63 yards. Yeah, I mean, all those guys. I, I mean, it was just Ayuk, Kittle, Debo, McCaffrey, and Juwan Jennings. I mean, there was nobody else that was targeted in this game. I mean, those are all your main guys. But usually you see, like, more guys, you know, on the field. But. And getting targets, but it it was it was the main guys, um, and that's really all you need. Uh, but yeah, Niners improved to twenty uh, to seven and three, uh, and they play Seattle on Thanksgiving. Uh, the Bills all over the Jets, thirty two to six. Uh, they improved to six and five. Uh, Jets dropped to four and six. Um, Josh Allen had an interception in this game, uh, threw three touchdowns, uh, but the interception that was um, towards the end of the first half. Uh, he was throwing a hail mary that got picked off. Uh, the Jets tried to run it back, but they didn't. Um, Khalil Shakir was their leading receiver. Three receptions, 115 yards, and a touchdown. Um, Stephon Diggs really didn't do anything in this game. Four for four receptions for 27 yards. I mean, the Bills got the win. Uh, Zach Wilson had a rough game. 7 to 15, 81 yards, passing, one touchdown, one pick. Um, Thomas Morstead actually uh, threw a pass in this game. They did a fake punt. Um... And that was, I think that was their only uh, scoring drive, uh, was the touchdown to Brees Hall. Um, he had a receiving, he was he actually was their leading receiver, which is embarrassing. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the Jets just offensively look like a mess. Um, and we'll see what happens on Friday when they play the Dolphins, because, I mean, we could see Tim Boyle starting, because um, he did finish the game, but he, uh, he threw a pick in this game as well. He pretty much had the same, you know, stat line as Zach Wilson. Just less passing yards, no touchdowns. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens on Friday. Um, then you got the Seahawks and the Rams. Rams winning 17-16. to uh, Seattle was dominating this game for the most part. Rams put up a 10 spot in the fourth quarter. Geno Smith got hurt in this game. Um, you know, the Seahawks had their chance to win the game, uh, but Jason Myers missed a field goal. And... Um, and the Rams ended up winning, improving to four and six, and uh, Seattle drops to six and four, and uh, we'll see what happens on Thursday if Geno Smith plays. And then you had the Sunday night game, which actually turned out to be a good game. Um, looked like the Vikings were going to win, but then the Broncos outscored them uh, twelve to three. Um, three turnovers in this game by the Vikings. Uh, you know, Josh Dobbs threw a pick. Uh, Alexander Madison fumbled. Josh Dobbs fumbled in the beginning of the game. Um, Russell Wilson connected with Cortland Sutton for a touchdown. Uh, great catch by him. Uh, they didn't get the two. Uh, and the Vikings, they couldn't get into field goal range, and they lost the game 21-20. Um, to 20. Broncos get back to 500. Um, so now that kind of brings them into the conversation of, hey, can this team be a wild card team? We'll see. Um, and the Vikings drop to 6-5. and five. Um, So, yeah, those are all the, uh, those are all the games uh, from Week 11. And... Um, with that, we are going to take our uh, second break of the show, and then when we come back, we'll talk about the um, the updated draft order after this week. But first, I just want to remind you guys uh, to tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link. That is streamelements.com slash gsmcsportsnetwork.slash tip. Again, that really helps the show. It makes it more interactive between myself, the host, you guys, the viewers. Again, that is streamelements.com slash gsmcsportsnetwork.slash tip. And as always, it is displayed on the bottom of the show segment. Uh, with the ticker here. So, when we come back from our uh, second break, we will discuss we will discuss the uh, the updated uh, draft order. So, stick around and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast.